Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, a hot freeze in many areas early this morning. One more look back at these low temps at around 5, 6 o'clock this morning. 20s, even upper teens, down to 19 in Taunton, 23 in New Bedford with a heavy frost in most locations, westerly at 25. So the growing season coming to an end in many locations. You can see some of that heavy frost. This was uh, Cranston this morning at 27 degrees. And you can see that kind of a whitish appearance on the shrubs and the lawn uh, with those frosty temperatures. As we take a look at live pinpoint, Doppler 12 radar. Skies are clear, the air is dry for now, but we do have a storm on the way. First of all, not as cold tonight. Not to say it'll be warm, but it won't be quite as frigid as it was earlier this morning. Coastal storm will be bringing some rain, and it may be heavy at times. A couple of inches possible, some isolated amounts, maybe as high as three inches. So we're soaking on the way. We're not talking scattered. Everybody getting wet. Downtown Providence, clear skies right now. Temperature still holding at 50 and a light southeast breeze at 13. Humidity still dry at 52%. Smithfield down to 46. Most locations now upper 40s to near 50, or actually 50 in Providence and westerly coming in at 49 and Block Island clear 48 degrees along the south shore. Narragansett Town Beach as a high tide is working in right now. Skies are clear and temperatures in the upper 40s. Here's how it plays out. Watching two weather systems. The first one is moving across the Great Lakes and what it will do is actually interact with a more important storm system now uh, coming out of the Gulf of Mexico in the southeast. Both will link up to form a storm along the east coast and that'll tap into some Atlantic moisture and it will overspread some rain here beginning tomorrow morning. You can see the leading edge of some of that steadier rain across the Virginias and the Carolina coastline. So for tonight, it stays dry and clear. Cool, but not quite as cold. By 11 o'clock, we'll drop off to 43 degrees and overnight tonight staying in the 40s. Rain arriving tomorrow morning, I'm thinking sometime around 8 o'clock, 42 to 50, so well above freezing, not nearly as cold. The rain gets heavier later in the morning and Excuse me, throughout the afternoon, temperatures in the mid 50s, and it will be a widespread rain all afternoon and extending into tomorrow evening with some downpours. So, temperatures tomorrow will range from the upper 50s along the south shore, the warmest area will be found there, to the lower 50s across our northern suburbs, Lincoln at 53, mid to upper 50s across southeastern Massachusetts with an increasing northeast wind at 15 to 20. So, here comes the rain tomorrow, tomorrow night, into at least the first half of Friday, 57. It does cool off for the weekend. Sunday is the cooler day at 47. Some extra clouds on Saturday. Perhaps a sprinkle, but basically a dry weekend. Though Sunday would be brighter but chilly. A high temp of 47. We set those clocks back one hour uh, over the weekend before bed on Saturday night. But grab the umbrellas. This is a soaker for tomorrow and tomorrow night. WPRI.com to get your seven-day future cast. So.